In today's Hispanic Heritage segment, we're taking a look at how a young woman who grew up in the foster care system is now using art to heal. Lynette Romero has her story. Every color has some sort of meaning. For example, blue is meant to be calm or yellow is happy. But there wasn't much happiness in Norma Carrillo's childhood. I was in a really dark place at one point in time because of the system and everything. And the only thing I had to look forward to was my art. Norma and her little sisters and little brother grew up in the foster system after their parents were deported. They got split up and she was moved more than a half dozen times. That was my reality. That was what I knew to grow up to and obviously I'm not, I'm still struggling with it because it hurts. But I guess this, this way it just takes my mind off it. I started off with just a pencil and paper. That's all I had because um, during the time I got a lot of things taken away from me or so it felt like I did. Um, and I didn't really have much to hold on to. So this was something I can call mine, keep for me. She called them her doodles, high school assignments that turned into pieces of art. One so good, it won a congressional art competition and it is now displayed at the White House. There was one other constant in her life. Costa just means court appointed special advocate. And he was appointed to me by the court. He believed in me. He believed in me where I didn't believe in myself. Babic Bakhtiari volunteers with the nonprofit Casa of Los Angeles. Not only did he believe in Norma, he bought her paint, brushes, canvas, anything to help her make her dreams come true.